The Rio Grande Valley spans about 175 miles from east to west. We cover news from Falcon Lake to South Padre Island 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. News does not stop overnight. How do we deal with it? We have a team of dedicated photojournalists that go on call. Last week was a busy week. My day off, it's 3.30 a.m. I receive a call from our morning producer. He tells me, sorry to wake you, bud, but there is a fatal accident in North Edinburgh. I'm going to need you to head that way. I'll text you the location. My job is to get to the scene as quick as possible to get the best video. And why? Well, it's simple because it's difficult to capture viewer's attention without a visual to the story. I arrived at the scene when the cleanup was happening. And since the road was blocked off, I only got one perspective of the scene. After I recorded my video, I drove to our McAllen bureau and I fed our video to the main station in Wessico. The producer received my video, and by the time I got home, I was able to watch that story and my video on air by 4.30 a.m., all in the span of about an hour. Other times, breaking news happens while I'm already on the clock, but there's no reporter available. This time, it's 9 p.m. It's a stabbing in far. As I walk through the neighborhood with my camera, people approach me about the problems they've experienced in the past with this perpetrator. As a photojournalist, it's my job to step in as a reporter and conduct a couple of interviews. And in this case, neighbors told us they've had many problems with this man. I've been one of the persons that has been more proactive towards calling. I've called about, you know, from the from the from my judging about a hundred or more times. All noon at the top, we are following... Those interviews aired in later newscasts throughout the week. For my photographer's perspective, I'm photojournalist Sergio Puente, Channel 5 News at 1030.